Welcome to the house that Rockney built. Leahy turned into legacy, Parsegan renovated, and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on the eighth-ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Cardinals will kick it away to start. Fielded in the end zone, it's Price. They drag him down at the 22. He gambled for the big return out of the end zone and came up a little short. The Irish offense will take the field to start this game. And they're led out there by a man who will carry the ball plenty in this one, guys. Well, it's real simple. He's the best player on their team. They have got to force feed this guy the football, David. No doubt about it. The offense goes through him. Excited to see how they built this offense and how many different ways they can get him touches. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard gain. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. They'll try to run for it. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Fires to the big fella. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. The Irish send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. So the Louisville Cardinals offense has its first opportunity of the day. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much they'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's back. trying to make life miserable for this offense. Give to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. And I love the discipline on defense right there. Big third down. So everyone keeping their eyes on the quarterback, rallying to the ball, making a tackle. Great team defense. The Cardinals will bring the punt team onto the field. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Here come the Irish back on offense. Leaves it with the running back. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Keep it on the ground. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And they can't make the play on third down. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll give it to the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Snags it over the middle. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. They get the conversion there. He used his size and nice moves to get past the chain. And I like that. Third and short. Find the big fella, the soft hands. Make a quick little move. Make the completion. Get the first down. And the Cardinals will line it up on first and ten. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a crease. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Give to the running back. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. Looking downfield, it's shut. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Didn't have a lot of room to run after the pick, but he's done his job. They have it at the 44. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. And that throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception.
Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if this were to touch down their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. Looking for a gap. It's Bob. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And when those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Get it out on the screen. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. Plays like that, but just a second of hesitation in the defense to make sure, and they're able to take advantage here. And they use the great timing with this call, right? Like, you can't call this play all the time, but you want to catch them when they're a little bit aggressive, not thinking about it. Nice job slipping the screen behind them, making the easy catch, and then getting downfield, picking up some extra yards. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy passing catch. They're going to test the right side with this one. Give him six on the play. They'll mark it at the nine. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Wide receiver shows motion. With jet sweep pass. Oh, what a move! Running toward the goal line. It's a fumble! Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. It's so hard to force fumbles, and when you do, you so badly want to get them. You're crawling, you're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender, but the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Got it! He gets it in! Touchdown, Irish! Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gives it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score. They are in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that drive covered just 44 yards, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to pass. It's shot. 
Receiver looks it in. It's complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Yeah, and when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Touch pass on the run. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow it's second and seven. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all right after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, game if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. All right, QB, I got to trust you, man. You already threw one pick. Now that one probably should have picked. You've got to give me a reason to feel confident I can drop back and let you throw the football again, or else this leash maybe gets a little bit short. Maybe we start warming up the righty in the bullpen. He'll just keep slinging it, using the back as a receiver on the screen. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Cardinals will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. On the move. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. This will make Irish eyes smile because they're shaking down thunder from the sky with this running game. Just pound, pound, pound. What are you going to do? Are you going to meet the physical challenge of the Irish because they're ready to rumble? Might as well give it to him again. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And under the watchful eye of touchdown Jesus, the Irish are starting to roll on the ground. Starting to get that big physical ground game going. And one thing you know about Notre Dame traditionally over the years, offensive line play is always great. They're always making holes, and they're always playing super physical. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just finds that little crevice, and he's still up. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. On the run, it's Price. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. 
Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there getting the sack. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And now the lead is even bigger. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. And I think you're used to that as often. It's like football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Looking for a man. It's shot. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. Handoff to the single running back. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying play action. Getting some heat. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Finds a tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And the Cardinals are marching down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man downfield. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. That was just a perfectly choreographed screen. The line got out on time. The running back had a wall in front of him. And I think the quarterback did a really good job of selling pass and then kind of dodging the pass rush, getting it to the running back, and then let him do the rest. You got him in space, he'll pick up yards in a hurry. And he's on his way. He'll go all the way. Touchdown, Louisville! A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? 
Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time, but when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Here come the Irish, back on offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. And that defender was just smothering the quarterback on that screen attempt. You know, the QB's taught to hold on to it to the last possible second. He had no shot trying to negotiate that defender. They'll leave it with him. Oh. Strong running there. Going to pick up seven yards on the play, but they still have a fourth and three. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Irish send out the punt unit. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. He'll start this drive firing. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the misfire, it's second and 10. Wants to throw, it's Shuck. He's right on target. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to escape and get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. The Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, just keeps firing. Tosses it incomplete. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. And the Cardinals will call on their punt team. Hauls it in, looking for space. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Just got to finish the play through the wide receiver. You got to look that one in and complete it. It's a bad drop. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Snap from the gun on third down. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, the offensive first absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Men, it should come as no surprise that we have ourselves a fun matchup in South Bend. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. Notre Dame will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. Looking for a man. It's shot. Throws to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football game. The Cardinals line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He gets a block. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. Here come the Irish, back on offense. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Paul, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Yeah, that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. On third down, he drops the throw. Turns it loose. Snags it inside the 20. And he strides his way into the end zone. 
one of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch. They've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, gets you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the finisher coming on a touchdown pass from 52 yards out. They're just about ready to kick it away. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Bell. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it. Because he really didn't have a choice. Because he was going to wear that one regardless. Grabbed in the middle. It's Lacey. And that RPO play was run to perfection. The run fake forced and sucked the defense up. And a nice job on the route by the receiver. Not telegraphing that he was breaking to the inside on the slant. Here on second and short. Dropping back, it's shot. Fires to the big fella. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. It's a reverse. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, they'll take to the air. Got it in the middle. It's Brooks. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all give them the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Keeps it on the bootleg. They're working that left side. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll throw it on first down. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. Well, that's one the offense would love to have back. That's a play they practice over and over and over. They feel like they can run that play in their sleep, not able to connect there. The incompletion brings up a second down. To the air, it's shut. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. The aerial assault continues. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. 
Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. This one will be a 45-yard attempt, and he'll kick it from the left side. It's good. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Wide open downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Big time play there in the passing game. That's important for Notre Dame, too, as a program, because we know they've always been able to run the football. And we've seen them in recent years get to the playoff. They've reached national championship games, but they haven't been able to pull it off. For this program to take the next step, they have to be more consistent and dynamic in the explosive passing game. And I think this guy gives them the opportunity to take the program to the next level. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Using his legs, it's love. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. Notre Dame lining up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Bringing it back, it's Lacey. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Nifty little dance step. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. They're going to ride this running back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And the Cardinals will have it first and ten. Looking to pass. It's shut. A strike downfield. Gets it inside the five. Down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. 
And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself opening. Nice job between those two. They used those back-to-back -back explosives to set him up first and goal. Oh, and he just dropped it so close to his second interception of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, the defense has had enough of this, right? The quarterback's on a hot streak. The ball's not hitting the ground. And right there, they decide, we are jumping one of these routes. We're going to try to get a pick. Almost came away with one there. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Gets it out fast. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. The pass play they hoped would spread the defense out, create a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but they were equal to the challenge. Yeah, and that's a play the receiver would love to have back. And look for a second like he might be able to break that tackle and score a touchdown. Just wasn't able to get it done. And they failed to hook up on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they decide to trot out the kicker. And he's made one already, and this one ought to be cake from 21 yards out. And it's no good. He missed it. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Here come the Irish, back on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Well, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll give it to him again. They knock him down behind the line, and the defense finishing this third quarter in style. Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Power football with the run. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. To the air. It's Leonard. Lost one deep down the right side. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. Ooh, that's one of those where you're breathing a big sigh of relief. That ball could have been intercepted, and worse, could have been intercepted and housed, but offense caught a little bit of a break. Nice play by the defense, but the offense, glad to punt in this situation if they want to punt. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. To the ground with the back. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. They feed him again. The Cardinals will keep this drive going. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. Now on first down from the 30. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. 
Got his man all by himself. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Well, this guy's going to make catches all over the field. That time, he lined up all the way to the left side, and he was able to cross the entire field to make a catch on the right side. Defense lost track of him, and it ended up being a big play. In search of that tying touchdown, they've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. To the air. It's shut. Working on the right. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Defense there to stop him after he picked up a yard. Ball's at the 17. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Well, we know down here when you're throwing into the end zone, the windows are so, so small. Ball gets tipped like that. There are a lot of defenders lurking around. QB's lucky that one wasn't picked. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. Give to the back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And here we go, down the score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He made the catch past the marker, but he was also past the sidelines. Incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. The give to the tailback. And some people won't like that, but I like aggressiveness. And that's who they are as an offense, so it's okay to be aggressive. But I know one thing now. After that fourth down stop and you're trailing, I'm going to need my defense to be aggressive. It's going to be a big possession right here in the fourth quarter to get me the football back. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll try the run. No, he just flat ran over it. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. 
And that's not how you want to start a drive. On the very first play, you give up a sack and you lose a ton of yards. Quarterback, you've got to know, just throw the ball away. Know when the play is over. having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Pocket starts to collapse. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game, but when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking handoffs. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. Got him downfield. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Cardinals have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the wideout. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. They think there's room to run to the right here. They get him stopped after a two-yard game. Ball is at the 17. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. This crowd even louder now on second down as they try to hold on. Pulls and throws off the RPO. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big-body guys that you know can win in contest. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're a single point behind. Man, great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game. Now, all you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. So you think this is automatic? They need this one badly. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they've got it locked up in the final minute after the touchdown and extra point. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Back to throw, it's Leonard. And it's intercepted. Oh, what a big play in a tie game. Oh, he would have loved to tack on the big return, but they've got it in the red zone at the 16. 
The pressure was rising. Drama just encapsulating this entire stadium. And the defense comes up with that pick. Yeah, so it, the quarterback, he's got to be able to handle this situation. Obviously, everything gets elevated. Everything has to happen a split second sooner. You feel the crowd noise. You can feel the energy. But you've got to keep your poise. And you just wonder in this juncture of the game if the quarterback's starting to lose his cool. They'll run it from the gun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Trying to impose their will with the run. Got enough space. Touchdown, Cardinals. And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And, man, this game has been awesome. Some back and forth. Now you take the lead late. Nice job by the offense. And now you just need your defense to come through for you. One more time. One stop. Less than a minute remaining. Go out there. Finish this thing off. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Throws to the wideout. That pass is incomplete. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Back to throw. It's Leonard. Immediately fires to the middle. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You can tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That's something as a defense you got to be prepared for. In a two-minute situation like this, you know they're going to try to throw the football to the sidelines and get guys out of bounds. So you got to have outside leverage, or you need zone defense to help out and try to bracket guys on these outbreaking routes. Fires into traffic, intercepted. How about that? Making a play and setting up your offense inside the 40 at the 39. When you're down late in the game, you got to make plays. It's really tough not to force the football. You could tell quarterback forces the football. Defense comes up with a huge interception. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Quarterback's just going to take a knee. 